Hi, Michelle Copper here with the Inspired Voice Business Coaching and Vanport Square Studio. Welcome back to my 30 videos in 30 days challenge. Today is day five and we have a great question from Maria in Portland, Oregon. She's asking for some support around networking. She says she's got a great body of work, but she hate, hate, hates talking about herself and her work, which I think a lot of people can relate to. The first thing I would say is we have to admit to ourselves that if we don't talk about our work or know how or figure out a way to talk about our work, we don't have as much work to talk about. Part of our responsibility, our opportunity, our job as small business owners, creative professionals, entrepreneurs, is that we have to share about our work in order to get it out in the world. So the real work is then addressing the thinking about it, how I think about networking. A couple of the tools that I've used to shift my relationship to the way that I think about networking instead of feeling like I got to go out there and sell myself is to think about how much I love what I do. I really feel very blessed and lucky to do the work that I do, to make the difference that I make, to offer my creative gifts, my coaching abilities, my experience to, to the world to help make it a better place, to help people heal, change, and grow. And every one of us in business for ourselves, from creative professionals to solo entrepreneurs, online entre entrepreneurs, we are making a difference. We are called to make a difference. So if I focus on how much I love what I do and how grateful I am to be able to do it and the fabulous results that people get, then I'm not so much thinking about selling myself as sharing my enthusiasm for the work that I do. And that was a big shift for me in how I approach networking. We've all been to those networking groups where people, everybody in the room is like trying to sell themselves and put themselves out there and be brave because it takes some courage, right? And it feels yucky if everyone's in there in that need stew trying to get their needs met and be seen and be heard from this place of like wanting to get business or prove themselves somehow. And when I flipped that around and started to listen to the offerings that people were making and really see the people speaking to me, and then when asked, shared my enthusiasm for my work, I actually started to have fun putting myself out there and going to networking events and meetings and meetups and talking about what I do. So that's the best mindset shift I can offer to how we talk about networking. And then I would say, go do it. Another tool you might use is to write a couple of sentences about what you do from that perspective of your enthusiasm and your gratitude. Just a couple of short sentences, but really write them down and really practice saying them so you have those words in your mouth and you can improvise and try out different ways of saying it in different events, but you'll get more confident and comfortable if you've thought about it from that perspective. And then the final thing I would say is that this gets to a greater truth about what our real work is, and that is to own who we are, what we do, and what we're here to contribute to own the value of what we offer and what we're creating and the programs that we're developing and how much we're helping people or inspiring people or the beauty that we're bringing into the world. And that ownership is what we're here to do as humans, which is why I love entrepreneurs and creative professionals so much, because I think we're really stepping up to our creative edge and daring to be seen daring to be heard, and moving through this like, oh, nervous, uncomfortable, self-conscious thing where we have to talk about what we do. So thanks for a great question. It makes me think of a favorite quote of mine from Marianne Williamson's A Return to Love, where she talks about us thinking, who, or what, who am I to be brilliant or gorgeous or talented or fabulous? And she says, who are you not to be? You know, you're here to make the world a better place and your playing small doesn't serve the world. There's nothing enlightened about that. We're here to give voice to our vision, our wisdom, our work, our insight. And moving through the process of being willing to do that and allowing ourselves to do that and going out and doing that and getting bigger, taking up space, 
owning what we do is not arrogant. It's actually very brave and very freeing. And when it gets right down to it, it's really fun. So that is the crux of what I think we're here to do. Thank you for a great question, Maria. And I would love for you all to ask me your questions, your thoughts, your challenges around speaking up, being heard, having and owning your value, and being enthusiastically ready and willing and able to share your work and be you in the biggest way possible in the world. So keep those comments coming on Facebook and the comment section below the video. I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow. Thanks again.